guys good afternoon good morning good evening good everything to you um i hope you have an amazing day so far as you can see i'm coming to you guys like super natural right now super duper natural i'm i'm about to slay everything like slay my whole life slay everything my soul my bank account everything everything um I don't know if you guys know, I, I guess you probably won't know because I haven't actually said anything or announced it on YouTube, um, but my Instagram family, my day ones, my one-on-one, -on -one, you guys will know. I've been nominated for Influencer of the Year woo, 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 by Cosmopolitan Magazine, so I'm super excited, I can't stop smiling, oh my god. Um, and um, yeah, the awards ceremony is tonight, I'm really nervous. Um, I don't mind if I don't win, honestly, because it's just an honor to be nominated. I know I sound like a pageant, it was just an honor to be nominated. <laughs> but for real though, there are so many UK influencers, there are so many people who they could have chosen, and I'm I'm honored to be nominated and shortlisted to like be even included and attend the event and the dinner and the award ceremony and everything. And you guys are the one that made it possible, all of you guys who voted for me. So I thought I'd just take you guys along and show you the process of a humble girl in her bedroom getting ready for the award ceremony. So um yeah, let's let's do that and um it, it's 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 gonna be fun. I, I'm, I'm dropping everything. I'm really, I'm actually really nervous. I'm dropping like everything. I'm gonna do my makeup right now, like I always do my makeup. I'm starting off with a little bit of TN Adult Ultra Wear from Lacko because it's my, it's my favorite one. The NARS is pretty hard too, but today I'm using this and I'm using number 13 because that is my tanned shade. In fact, actually, I think I'm a little browner than that right now. And I ran out of foundation when I was on my, I wouldn't call that a holiday, when I was on my, my mega trip to the Caribbean, my, my work holiday, work a day, work, work, work a day, workation, workation, does that work? Yeah, my workation, so, uh, I finished a whole bottle, I don't understand how I finished a whole bottle of foundation, but I guess I was gone for a month, so. The award ceremony is basically a dinner and a, and a... It's like the BAFTAs, it's like the Golden Globes of influencer society, okay? So it's exciting. And I've never been nominated for any kind of award or anything in... Um, well, that's not true. I guess I did get, like, top 100 influential people uh, in the UK from YouTube, so that's kind of cool. Rooney's gonna come for me to this event. Um, he's in the other room getting ready because I need all the space to myself. And a lot of people have been asking, where's Rooney? Well, you're going to see him in this vlog. Again, count your blessings because this is probably one of the only ones you're ever going to see him in again. And you might ask me why. A lot of people have been asking me why is that. It's just, it's simple. I don't feel like making vlogs with Rooney anymore. I feel like people are too involved and based on the comments of people literally making up assumptions because they're not getting updates about my love life I think I've made the right decision like yeah I don't feel like making them anymore because people are too quick to judge and criticize some people are just genuinely happy to see other people happy but there are some people who aren't you know there are some bitter Bettys out there and negative Nancys and so um yeah they're spoiling it for the rest so I don't even really know what I'm wearing to this um there is a theme it's powerful and party ready with a touch of pink. So I do have like a power suit in mind that I got, but I'm not sure if I want to wear that. Sometimes I have to see what my makeup's going to look like first before I can like see the whole thing. I have to see my outfit with my makeup and hair and then I can decide on the outfit. Do you know what I mean? Is that just me or does everybody feel like that sometimes? I feel like sometimes it's necessary. Anyway, more about the ceremony. Look, there's, there's glitter everywhere from Carnival in the bag. So I was gonna wear this, but unfortunately they didn't have it in my size in the store. I ordered it online and of course, as usual, the waist is way too big and the thighs are tight. I don't even know why I bother trying to get trousers that don't stretch anymore. I just, I just, I have super duper thighs and a smaller waist than my thighs, so 
I mean, it's a blessing, but it's also a curse. So I'm going to wear this dress instead. This dress is from Shein. I'll put the link to the dress in the description if I can still find it. Okay, ladies. So I am ready. I didn't have time to um, show you guys the full look, but this is basically what I'm wearing. I'll show you guys when I get to the event. I just need to put my earrings on and get in the Uber. Oh, oh. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, she does. So yeah, we're heading to Kensington right now. Um, I don't know how long this is going to go on for, but yeah, it's a night out. It's going to be fun. I look forward to it. Rooney's wearing sunglasses. It's the first time. He's ever worn sunglasses. Uh, this is actually the first thing you guys see me with them at all. Even for you, right? Yeah. You kind of <laughs> look like a little bit like Brad Pitt in one of those Brad Pitt movies, I guess. Hmm. But yeah, look, 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 look at the style, man. Look at the style. Look at the socks. Look at the socks. Well done. Of course, I'm, I'm the better dressed of the two. I have to be. But you know. I can concede that. <laughs> you look like an energy beam right now. Like you're just just light. <laughs> Filming with me is not easy. <laughs> we just have to balance the colors. <laughs> Why do you think our place is haunted? <laughs> Thank you. So 
So the vlog pretty much ends here. At this point, we're just babbling on and talking about what we enjoyed about the night. But I just wanted to make a quick note about what Rooney said. It is true that it is an industry that is pretty much dominated by Caucasians, especially in the UK. Um, so minorities, they do tend to get exposure. But in this industry, brands do try to represent the population. And of course, being a minority, we are in the minority. So we are likely to be taking up less space. Meaning that in some cases, if there is a campaign or an influencer award or any sort of thing like that, there's usually one space for a black person, one space for an Asian person, and the rest pretty much goes to the Caucasian group. And that's pretty common. If you go onto Instagram and you look at any campaign, you pretty much see that. And you definitely don't want to be the token person. Some brands are just looking to tick boxes. I have to say, though, I don't think that's the case with um, the Cosmopolitan Award tonight. I think the awards were quite fair and I do think everyone was nominated and awarded on their merits. So well done to Cosmopolitan. I just wanted to say what Rudy just mentioned is kind of like a defining moment because a lot of people don't recognize when something is actually a privilege to them because they are not affected by it. And I guess as he's been with me going to these events and being in this industry, he's seen certain things that have allowed him to notice these things. So that's kind of cool. So I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. Thank you for coming along. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.